Hi, I'm Sam Mendoti, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve systems of linear inequalities. But before we get started, I should give you a couple of equations as examples, such as y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 4, and y is greater than x minus 3. To start things off, there's a difference between the lines you should draw for greater than or equal to or less than or equal to and regular greater than or less than. In this type of graph, you want to draw greater than or less than as a dotted line. And we'll start off right here. This point, as you know, is the y-intercept, so you got to start at negative 3. And then you got to go up 1 and over 1, since x is basically known as, or the slope is known as 1 over 1. So up 1, over 1, and then up 1, over 1. Up one over one. And then to draw your line, you just go over here. And instead of making the usual solid line, like I said, you're going to be making a dotted line. So why is it the dotted line? It's the dotted line because it's like it's not or equal to. We make those solid lines because we just do to make it easier to tell the difference between. The next to graph this negative two x plus four. So to start off at positive 4, and this slope is basically negative 2 over positive 1. So you do minus 2 over 1, minus 2 over 1, and then you can go ahead and draw a solid line here. And why is it the solid line? Because it's not regular less than or greater than. So when you go ahead and draw a solid line, and there you go. Next thing you want to do is you notice the graph is blank. You gotta find out where the solution to the graph is basically. To do that, you wanna use test points, such as, I don't know, zero, zero, negative four, zero, or one of those. Let's start off with four, zero. And how you work these is you choose a coordinate, like let's say I'm going four, zero. Since this is a y coordinate, zero is a y coordinate, I gotta make my y's equal to zero. And rewrite the equations based on that. And then plug, plug 4 in for the x. And then same for here. And what you want to make sure is that it's equal on both sides. So negative 2 times 4 makes it 8. So it makes it negative 8. And then, then you add 4 to that, and that'll make it negative 4. And we already have a problem. Zero is not less than negative four. Zero is greater than negative four. But let's continue throughout the problem. Four minus three is one, so let's replace that with one. And zero is not greater than one. So I already know this side over here isn't a solution. Next thing we gotta do is try to find something from the top. Let's just try, for instance, four zero. I mean zero four. So that means we're going to have to plug in x as 0 and y as 4. And obviously since x is 0, both x's are going to automatically become 0 because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So don't even bother writing that in. Write in the rest of the stuff and, and negative 3. And let's see, 4 is greater than negative 3. And also, 4 is less than or equal to 4. So there's going to be a solution over here. But we don't know if it's over. If most of the solution is going to be over here or over here. So the next place we want to test out is probably closer to the bottom, like 0, negative 4. Then we just change these to negatives and then test. And let's see. Negative 4 is not greater than negative 3. So the solution is not, in fact, down there. One last place we have to check. Let's try the point we were going to originally start off with. 0, 0. Let's plug these things in. All right. So you see, 0 is, in fact, less than 4. And 0 is greater than negative 3. So next thing you want to do, since this is the area of the solution, and you're sure it's the solution, 
what you want to do is start shading it. It doesn't matter if you shade a messy or anything, but all you got to do is shade that region because you know that any part in this region past where the intersection is, that's where the x and y solutions are, where it'll plug in and be equal, x will be equal to y, or whatever other numbers add up will be equal to y.